Welcome Mouseworks fans and welcome to another kit review. This one is something completely different. And what this one is, um, it's a new idea or an old idea done in plastic. Let's put it that way. Uh, what it is, is it's a uh, futuristic, and I'll quote it off the box, 132nd scale armored sports car with female racer included. And what this is, is it's going along with the uh, apocalyptic type theme and the zombie theme that's been going on in the modeling world for a little bit, but it's something fairly recent. So what this kit is, it's a uh, vehicle that I saw and quite surprised by it. I've heard of this company before and they were doing some armor, but this is something new and it's a company called Su Suyata, I do believe is how they pronounce that. Um, and what it's called, the series is called Madness of the Street. And this one is called Luna and Selena. And Luna is the vehicle and Selena is the character. So what this is, it's a um, sort of a hardening, heartening back to Road Warrior type stuff. Uh, but it's nice that it's a kit that's ready to go. It's also in 32nd scale, so you'll be able to use a lot of 35th scale armor detail stuff and diorama supplies to do whatever you want with it so so without further ado let's uh, get looking at this kit all right before we get started mouseworks fans and uh, to new uh, people visiting the channel um, i would like uh, to ask for your support in uh, supporting the channel with uh, hitting the subscribe button so you get all my updates and ring the bell so you uh, get in informed about when they uh, go live and uh, I appreciate all the support and uh, I also have a website where I sell different types of materials that help me support this channel for example this is my uh, little sanding sticks with the uh, sanding pads the soft sanding pads for getting rid of knockout pins and all and getting in corners and stuff they're very handy can be used wet or dry so anyways that's just one of the items that's on my website so please check it out it's mouseworks dot com m a u s w e r x dot com i appreciate any support and any feedback so let's take a look at this kit now so there it is <laughs> jumped off the shelf very beautiful artwork beautiful beautiful artwork and some of the interesting components of it are the fact that it is 30 second scale not 35th not 24th um, this is a fairly new company called the uh, Suyata. Let's see if I can get it in the camera there. Suyata. Anyways, um, they're taking this kit very tongue in cheek, even though it looks uh, like a pretty nice kit. Um, for example, up here it says BGM. If you can read this, BGM. I think you freaky of the ant word. So, not sure what's going on there. <laughs> so, um, I supposedly some people said that it's to some type of an anime type thing, but anyways, I thought it was pretty cool. So let's take a look at the side of the box. Um, it says, uh, kind of in tongue in cheek here again, uh, don't swallow any items in the package. Don't put the package into your mouth, nose, or in your, or on your head. <laughs> so anyways, um, it says armored sports car Luna. Model kit included, 30 second scale unassembled plastic model kit, female racer Selena included, cement and paint not included, metal part not included, so that means there's no photo etched in there, tool not included, meaning there's no tools to build it, ages 14 and over. Now what's also interesting is this uh, madness of the streets, it's number 001, so it's the first one they've done. Now there are some companies out there that we're going to try to attempt to do things like this in resin. Um, like Industrial Mechanica, but uh, not sure what's happening with Industrial Mechanica. They're just kind of uh, not doing a whole lot right now. There's the side of the box. There is the figure of Selena, and then these guys are out of Hong Kong, China, and uh, uh, they did have to put a little sticker on there that says, uh, need to use adhesive. So um, I'm guessing they might have covered something up saying not use. But anyways, okay, so let's open the box and see what we're getting into. There's nothing on the bottom, so let's see what we got. Okay, pop open the box here and see how it's packaged. See what's uh, 
there and then we'll go into some in-depth. Looks like uh, some instructions. Really nice looking instructions. Uh, possibly a little set of decals. And uh, that's the car body. Now again, it's a uh, 30 second scale, so it's a little small. Kind of looks like a Lamborghini uh, type vehicle. And they are in pre-colors. So you don't have to paint this if you don't want to. Here's a big bundle of parts with some clear, all the clear parts are smoke, which is very interesting. Uh, some tires, some really low, low, low profile tires. So I'm hoping they do these separate so you can put them on any car you want. Uh, looks like uh, some chassis parts and then the uh, armor, which is really kind of interesting. Almost like uh, 3D printed looking stuff. And they did use slide molding, it looks like. There's some of the other the rims and some of the other parts. There is no real engine detail on the inside, but uh, that's to be expected. So let's go through these one by one in depth. Okay, here's the first sprue tree. Now I would like to mention that uh, a lot of these companies from China are actually bagging their kits now in these resealable bags, which is really nice. Um, you don't have to cut it open, so you don't have to worry about cutting it crooked or anything like that. Plus, like I said, the resealable, which is really nice. So, okay. So we've got some rims here with a really funky design, kind of a pedal design with uh, holes in them, so they're slide molded, very, very detailed. Almost Fujimi-like. I don't know if this company is a uh, division of Fujimi or Aoshima, but they look very similar. Some armor pieces, a plow for the front, just interesting. This car would be interesting just for parts, too. Uh, there's some slide molded pieces here. Exhaust pipes slide molded. Every bit as good as a Fujimi or a uh, Tamiya car kit, to be honest. Uh, looks like some headers or something. Uh, some more pipes. Some more armor. More armor, more armor. And then some harpoons, which are very nicely done on the level of uh, Gundam type uh, crispness. So, okay. So that's that one. Let's go to the next one is the chassis package. Okay. okay. This one is the main component. You've got the flat chassis which is actually very interesting. I mean, it's got really fine recessed lines. I mean, some of the best scribe lines I've ever seen in a car kit. They look like uh, aircraft or, again, Gundam type quality. Uh, big piece of front armor here for the nose with bolt heads on it. Um, the cockpit, I assume, there. The framing, uh, which is really cool, kind of a spider web. Like I said, it looks like a 3D printed type deal. Very clear, no flash, no anything, nothing to have to clean up. Very thin, I mean razor thin, but very well molded. Uh, looks like this is the dash and it actually looks like it has a HUD system here, which is pretty cool. Um, some uh, your uh, shifter here and some wheel wells. All right, let's go to the next one. Now I have built a uh, started to build some of the sci-fi car kits, which I might show here a little later on, of just cobbling together what they call greeblies, which are just little parts glued together to make it look like something. So there's the tires, give you an idea, real low profile, kind of cool. Um, flexible vinyl, looks like. Don't smell, so they're not a real rubber, they actually are vinyl, so that might be a little issue trying to uh, weather them, um, maybe give them a little sanding to get them rough looking, but weathering might be a little tough. Okay, next up is the big bundle of stuff. So let's take a look here. What we got. This kit ho totally sideswiped me. I did not uh, know about this kit. Um, like I said, I heard about the company doing some armor stuff and things like that, but uh, this is something very new and I'm assuming they're going to do a series if it really takes off because uh, being 
number 001. So, okay, so this is the figure, and uh, she's got two heads. One has an armored, kind of like a cyborg looking uh, head system there, and then she's got her head with the long hair and everything. Looks very nice. I'll try to get some close ups of that. Um, and then the figure itself, very nice. The hands, exquisite. Individual fingers, very, very nice. Um, there's your hand on the shifter, so you can. I think that's a shifter or a gun or something, anyways. Uh, we'll get some close ups of that. Slide molded on the uh, little pieces here. Okay, this set here. This is excellent. I'd love to have just a whole bunch of these for Greeblies on different models because that is just awesome with these little perforations here and the slats and the again mimicking that uh, spider web type thing. Um, looks like another part of the interior. Um, this is just so complex. I mean, this is this is nuts. They didn't have to go into that much detail, but they did. Again, like a Gundam. Where it's really, really super crisp. Um, I'm guessing that's the rear end of the vehicle. And then some type of brace there. Okay. Let's look at the smoke stuff. Now this is wrapped in a cellophane, which is nice. So they keep it from scratching. So, set that aside. Here's the smoke. Absolutely clear. No blemishes, nothing. Um, you have a door, which is actually the front, or whatever you want to call it, a win window. Um, looks like turn signals or something of some kind here and here. And there's your HUD system and smoke. Very, very cool. And the smoke is just, I mean, it's a perfect smoke. So you don't have to worry about trying to do that yourself. Um, Would have been cool if they gave you smoke and clear. And then you could choose to do whatever you want. So if you want to make the smoke... Or the tint the window is in a different color. But uh, maybe we'll do that on the next one. And it's interesting they say it's a racer, not a combat vehicle. So it's obviously like some street racing that gets pretty violent, what I'm guessing. Okay, this part here, uh, we got some disc brakes here, which are really nicely done. Some holes they don't go all the way through, but they're supposed to look like vented disc brakes. Steering wheel is kind of this uh, hexagon shape here. Uh, the seats, uh, very nicely done. Then um, this is the wing here. God, so thin. I mean, razor, razor thin. Awesome looking. Very, very nice. Okay, getting down to some of the last parts here. The body itself. Again, with the real fine scribing. I mean, just unbelievable. Would have been nice if they had that separate, so if you want to put some type of retro engine or some weird type engine, it would be possible. Little vents here. Everything's just so sharp and so crisp. I assume it's going to fit well. Uh, just being engineered so well, I don't see why it wouldn't. And uh, But that's the body. And last is the instruction packet. I'm excited about this mainly because it will, will be really fun to do some weathering on it. Um, chipping and uh, just all kinds of uh, hairspray techniques, things like that. So we've got some uh, poly caps there for the wheels, I assume. Uh, the decals. Let's see what's in the decals. Let's see what's there. Okay. Not a lot, but very interesting. <laughs> Again, tongue-in-cheek, they have some graffiti stuff. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, Word Luna, the number 91. There's a dash, which looks incredible, almost like fluorescent colors. Um, a little GPS module, I'm guessing that's for the HUD. And then uh, whatever these Illuminati symbols here. Uh, very, very interesting. Like I said, they're doing a tongue-in-cheek kind of you know, for the anime slash um, Gundam guys. And people just want to have fun when they do like the zombie apocalypse stuff. So here's the instructions. So we got the uh, really nice instructions here. And let's see what we got. We got some of the pictures of the comic, if it is indeed a comic. 
So we've got this character and uh, her vehicle there, which looks like they replicated it pretty well. There's some dents and scratches and uh, I don't know if you want to call them bullet marks, but there's all kinds of damage. So you can do that to the vehicle or keep it clean. Um, <laughs> again, don't put any pack. Don't put the package into your mouth, nose, or on your head. <laughs> um, they're telling you how to take stuff apart, um, what the symbols mean, very clear, and the tools that you'll need as well. So interesting that the uh, the symbols are done like uh, road signs in Europe, where they have the red circle around them. Uh, Talking about how to use decals, a list of all the parts and so forth. All in color, this is really nice. And this kit was relatively cheap. I mean, it was uh, about 30 bucks. So I was expecting it would be like a $50 model, like a Fujimi. There's the tires and rims, uh, simple wheel wells, seats with a headrest, kind of interesting, like a military seat. Almost would be kind of cool to put a uh, resin ejection seat in there see how that works or a helicopter seat give it a little bit of flare there so you have belts and stuff because you really need belts especially in your own combat uh, some more armor pieces on here uh, putting the smoke parts on so it looks like it's armored glass is what it is some kind very cool very nice instructions i really like that um, not sure what this is. It says down here, if you can see, it says it's got a question mark. It says surprise. Okay. And then this one here, the symbol dangerous area. Okay. I didn't notice that. Police surveillance area. Vehicle under surveillance. So that's what that VUS means. That decal. Uh, Madness of the Streets Championship. Those, so those are some of the decals that are. <laughs> it's just some weird stuff. There's a little picture of her head there with the armor um, turned again. Just stuff to look at. It's kind of fun. Little X means closed decal. Putting in the framing. Um, some of the back of it. Some exhaust. Uh, there's the top of it. So they, they've gone with an orange and gray s scheme. Kind of looks like the uh, those... Uh, work vehicles that Hazegal came out with. Um, uh, the road graders and so forth had those same colors on them. So um, there's putting the, the cage on it. And there's the harpoons. Um, very interesting. Some rear view mirrors even. <laughs> so they're using rear view mirrors instead of some digital thing. Uh, there's putting on the window. They show it in two different positions. You can have it open or closed. Putting on the decals as you feel uh, fit. Uh, painting the, t assembling the um, gal with the uh, painting instructions, and she's got a little backpack that's shaped like a bunny. Of course, that's total anime. Uh, kind of high heel boots. And then on the back, they have this kind of. Oh, now that's very interesting. These little posters are supposed to look like a wall with posters. This particular poster looks like it's showing a mech from the Mac series, a machine in Krieger. <laughs> I mean, it's really machine in Krieger-ish. So, and it's it's called a nutmobile, like a new spotter. Yeah, this is really interesting. Extremely dangerous, thousand dollars. Yeah, this is getting getting very intriguing. So, if you want to use it with some of the uh, uh, Mac uh, stuff, machine and career, and then there's all the symbols and what they mean, and then it has some little scan codes to go and see what's uh, going on. So, anyways, that is a wrap on that one. Appreciate you sticking with me and seeing what it's all about.
Okay, as promised, I thought I would show some of the stuff I was working on many moons ago. <clears throat> Just haven't finished it. And this was kind of in the genre of uh, a couple movies. Actually, one was The Fifth Element, but uh, it was more... Uh, I was trying to build one to a movie called Immortal, which was a French film, sci-fi film about cars that flew, but they actually used catenary devices to get around so they would ha hook up to a power wire and move around the city. Anyways, this is an old uh, coupe model and what I've done is you can kind of see I just scratch build some some goodies on the front to make it look like they're wire cutters you know for uh, the line wires and stuff like that and give it some looks and then on the bottom I just did all kinds of greeblies um, different pieces from aircraft models and so forth and some s scratch building and stuff just to make it look like something and this will be all weathered and so forth so you won't see the difference but uh, just adding a little something here and there to make it look like it's a uh, some fancy flying car turbine thing <laughs> anyways very fun um, if you guys have a, a club that you're looking for something to do as a group build flying cars was a real good thing um, there is another guy online who did some flying car stuff uh, dr. cranky you haven't seen some of his videos be prepared they're kind of weird uh, he's kind of a fun <laughs> character but he did some similar type stuff so anyways um, hope you guys enjoy looking at my project that some year I will finish all right Mouseworks fans I hope you enjoyed that in the box look at the uh, new Suyata uh, armored race car and looks like it's kind of going to be very interesting something very neat to to pick up and just take a break from standard modeling so anyways um, and I hope you enjoyed that uh, 49 Merc modification I've been doing so anyways appreciate all the support be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell and I do all kinds of different types of videos if you haven't noticed and I uh, do respond to people's comments so just comment below tell me what you think of everything and uh, shout out to Kevin my friend who uh, he's got to have one of those cars Kevin, you need this car. Anyways, talk to y'all later and keep on building.